the ponytail haircut, right? I know it's something that people like to try at home. So what I'm going to do is do that and break down what exactly it does and what could happen. So we've got all this hair in this ponytail right here. So let us chomp all this hair off right here and let's see what happens. So hold on to your horses. <laughs> here we go. There we go. Nice. Look at that cut. I've never cut it. Look at that. Look at that. It's crazy. All right. So goodbye hair. Take, you, want to, you always want to cut above the ponytail as well. So I, you know, what, what does this do? Before I take this thing out, let's, ex, let's kind of explain what that does. When you bring all the hair up to one point and you cut it, you're cutting this as the shortest point on the top of the head, wherever this highest point is. Then all that other hair travels down and it's going to remain as long as it possibly could, which falls obviously down this way. So you're going to have a lot of volume and layers up here and then it all falls down to this. Now, in my experience, it doesn't always work out the best because uh, it could end up being very uneven and very all over the place, but let's see. So pull the hair out, give it a shake like this and yeah, just what I ex expected. Uh, it looks hideous. All right, so let's see what that did. It removes a lot of weight, first of all, okay? It removed all of this weight in through here, okay? A lot of that weight is gone now. But what we've created is like a pretty cool kind of shag haircut. So now let's take this one step further. I don't even have a comb on me. I can't, I can't even comb this because I have no comb on me. So let's say we want to go with this type of haircut. So you can kind of wear it off to the side like this, all right, to give it more of a, uh, more of a shag type of look, but let's see where the longest layer falls. So the longest layer ends up being right into this area. So let's go in and cut this off right here. So let's do this. I'm going to take my hand, use my hand as a, I won't cut my hand, but what I'm doing is I'm just literally point cutting like this and I am there we go. Let's do this now. So now we've taken that up a bit and now I'm going to go up like this. And now I'm going to work in these longer sides to blend this in with the top right into here. So any longer hairs that I see, I'm actually going to be cutting again. This is with no comb. This is total freestyle. Uh, don't judge me on this, but you know, <laughs> I'm trying my best here. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for hair that is shorter underneath, but then that blends in throughout the top. So if you go and you do this, right? If you do this type of haircut, yeah, do this at your own risk, obviously, <laughs> but I want to show you kind of what happens and the outcome of this. So here we go on this side, I'm looking for, again, longer pieces of hair. And the way I'm blending it is I'm actually just holding up the, as high as I possibly can with those longer pieces of hair and then I'm cutting them, all right? Because those longer pieces are not blending in with the rest of the haircut. So this, that way I'm just kind of shaping them off. All right, let's turn around this way. This is also pretty fun. I haven't done anything like this in a long time. Uh, I'm 100% sober while I'm doing this, unfortunately. No, I'm kidding. I'm 100% sober. This is just a lot of fun and let's see here. So what's happening is the back here, right? There's not a lot of blending going on with the back. So I'm just kind of slide cutting to make sure that this all blends in, right? But I'm still trying to maintain that length, but I'm just looking for pieces that are really, 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 really unbalanced. And uh, that's where the, the slide cutting comes in this way, right? Then you can also point cut and, you know, hopefully this will, uh, all work. All right. So now let's go in here in the front again, looking for those longer pieces and they're, they could be just very, 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 very fine pieces of hair. Nothing like super, super crazy, but it could be just three or four strands that are a lot longer than the rest. All right. Now let's see what we got here. So what we've created totally freehand is 
a kind of modern, or even not even modern, a shag. This is very retro, I would say, very 80s inspired, even maybe 70s, uh, a nice mop, like a mod haircut or mop top mod type of look. All right, I think like Ramones when I see this, <laughs> you know? Uh, there we go. Yeah, and look, so we got all the volume on the top. Let's look how short that is. See how short that is on top here? But what I did is I worked all these layers into the very, very front and through here, okay? To make it a lot more uh, balanced into here. And yes, the hair comes in the eyes, that's the whole look of it. And then all this somehow blends, right? It's not perfectly blended, but it's, it's a very soft textured blend. So if you are looking for some sort of shag like this, then you can see this is what happens when you take the hair all the way up into a ponytail and you cut it, right? Just be very careful when you cut the hair because wherever the base or the area of the ponytail is that's at the highest peak and however close you cut it to the rubber band or ponytail holder, it's gonna be that short on top, right? So just keep that in mind. Don't cut it too, too short and have some fun. Let me know if you've tried this, if you think this works, if it's like, you're blown away by how this came out. Again, this was totally like freehand, no comb. I used no comb whatsoever to cut this. It was all just cut like that. So let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.